On today's episode of the North American Journeyman, Alahuelense said no to us. Didn't even make the short list. But it's okay, we carry on in Honduras. Today is the two-legged final of the opening stage. piece of news coming in here. Excellent intake with an exceptional defensive midfielder. Half decent goalkeeper. I'll take it. I'll take that 100%. Um, what's the other thing I wanted to do for you? Um, Olavo Lindsay just promoted the guy who was the caretaker head coach. Saprisa is still Insecure. Let's check in on Delphines. Delphines, still positive bank balance. That's good. They still have some of our boys. Brian Thompson. Valencia is still captain. Juan David Gonzalez is still there. He's vice captain. They're still semi-professional. Okay. Um, let's see. This was us losing in the Champions Cup to America. I remember this game too vividly. Caribbean Cup. Not off to a great start. Losing. Looks like they're doing good in the league, though. Oh, what happened here? Okay, so Caribbean Cup Group A. They won the last two games. They made it out. And playoff final. So they won in the playoff semi-final against Pantoja and it looks like they, they lost lost to Seba in the final 5-0 they made it out of their group on second place behind TLH Rangers and then lost Dunbold and won over Harborview who beat oh, they beat Delphines on penalties third place gets them in they won on penalties against TLH Rangers, which means they're in the CONCACAF Cup next season. Two in a row. The Delphine's dynasty has continued after I left, even though they're still semi-professional. So they'll play in the first round of the CONCACAF Cup. Go back to Azteca. Make yourself a cool million. But we're on to playing Marathon, two-legged tie today. We'll jump right into the games. We're ready to go. We did have an injury up top. Kiati goes down. He's going to miss both legs. Twisted ankle. So Romero, who's... I haven't been playing because he's been so bad. And he's wanted. His contract is running out at the end of the year. I don't know if I'm going to... Like, he's okay. He's pretty good. But he has not done it for us yet this season. I have some other... Some of my other wingers can play up top if he's not working. Zuniga, Lakayo, They can all play up top. Actually, you know what? No, we'll start out this way, and then maybe I'll bring Lakayo in as striker. He's more of a winger, honestly, and I think Zuniga is probably a better striker. I don't know. None of them are really good at it. But this is the team we're sending out. Can we pick up our first piece of silverware in Honduras? Let's see what we can do. Yeah, happy for Delphines. That's sick. That's so good. They're playing a youngster over here. Doesn't look that good. Playing a seven at the back system. We've handled these guys no problem so far this year. I think we've beat them every time. Maybe they drew once. Maybe. But we've come in and kind of just dominated this league. I mean, do we expect to do anything else? Not a great shot there from Acosta. I had words with him about a week prior to the game. He said, you need to play better. 
Another narrow pitch situation. All right, early possession and chances in our favor. Header, can't quite get to it. What can we create from here? Acosta, Zuniga, bounces all around, falls to Martinez, and he scores it. one nothing. Adolfo Martinez. Him and Iyanku, I think they could probably play anywhere in Central America. They're going to be that good. I don't know how high their potential ability is. I doubt they'll ever work in a cap for the U.S., think to get their contracts lower, I sold both of them, that if they played for the U.S., then I'd up their wages. So hopefully that doesn't happen until after we leave. We need to work ourselves into Champions Cup so we can start making some of that sweet Mexican money. Those sweet pesos. I don't know if they use pesos in Honduras. I think they do. I think they use pesos of different varieties in most Central American countries, but I really am not sure. Maybe I'll have to go down there sometime. I mean, I'm in Honduras now, right? But And we are just shutting teams down defensively. I mean, we the stats always say that, but then we always end up giving a few goals. Um, experts don't believe in us? I think we can find another gear, to be honest. We shouldn't be happy with 1-0. We're still, we're still crunching them. Martinez has a yellow and the goal. Romero's playing a 6.8, so... Yeah, all the... All the wingers, the front... Three behind the striker are playing okay. Anything? Anything. I mean, again, it's the away leg, so... Maradiaga's nervous. Devon Garcia can come in for him. He's kind of the starter anyways. You usually play him on the right. Lakayo's anxious. Mm. Anxious energy is good energy sometimes. Not always. Yeah, Rodas isn't playing very good. Center back. Here we go. Second goal incoming. Costa. Martinez takes it himself, scores it. Adolfo Martinez puts us up 2-0 in the final first leg. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. All right, Vargas needs to come out. Martinez might be on the next leg. Maybe Acosta, I think, is on a yellow too. So we'll keep an eye on that. We missing goals here potentially. Let's just close this thing out. We do have a game coming up here pretty soon. Just leave it as is. I think we bring out Acosta. Bernardes has had a good year. And Nunez is playing good. Any other changes? Maybe Racha. Martinez is on a hat trick, though, so maybe let's push him up further. Rest Davy Flores, because Roch is a pretty decent option in the midfield. We need more depth, though. Not getting bit by the injury bug has been one of the most 
crucial things for us performing so well this season. Two now. Two Adolfo Martinez goals. He's a beast. He's a boss. Everyone's backtracking. Let me throw some arms out at him. He dominated. Let's go. I'll even talk to Sanchez. Good job. You. You did well. Costa. Since you usually play crap, I'll say something to you too. Or play crap is harsh, but underperform is probably more accurate. All right, the game's coming up very soon. So I'll just keep you here with me. Nothing should happen. Just do a quick scan, perusal the jobs real quick. Just waiting patiently. I think they're still playing like the final. Yeah, the, the second leg of the final is on the same day that we play. So maybe after that ends, they might have a little chat with the Saprisa manager and decide that there's a better option in Honduras. Maybe. Sell out capacity crowd in our ground, which is only 6,000. But that's cool. Is there a grand final in this competition? I don't believe there is, but I'm going to check real quick. Because Costa Rica has like two grand finals, maybe even three. They do the league, qualifies you for the playoffs, then the winner of the playoffs plays the top team from the league in just the opening phase. And then they do the same thing again in the closing phase. It's nuts. We have the final. We just have two finals. We don't have a grand final. Yeah. But look at this. This is nuts. Final, grand final, and then final, grand final. Two grand finals. Like, why do you, why have a final? If you, I mean, if What's more important, the final or the grand final? Like, who knows? But, like, look at how many games they play. I counted them for a, a team that was in the Champions Cup and the Central American Cup and doing well. And they played 61 games in a season. That's insane. So, you know... Lots of football manager ahead if we do end up going that direction. But let's focus. Hey, these two have a partnership. That's good, but Devin Garcia is probably who I want to start anyways. Rodas and Mara Diaga are the two like young center backs that could really do some good work for Honduras. Because they're really lacking in that department, but... Anyways, Kiati's still gone. Anybody else that I want to bring in? I mean, Adolfo Martinez is really the only good player in that game. We'll start Lacayo. Fitness levels are good outside of Romero. Subs not so good, but good enough. Should be able to close this thing out. We're looking pretty solid. Everybody's happy. Everybody loves it. It's been a great season. But Marathon did beat Real España. Forget about that first leg. It doesn't matter. We come to play today. All the fans are out. They're playing some youngsters. Escalante. Looks okay. Peña looks garbage. Oliva doesn't look good either. Pineda, center back. He's all right, but he can't jump. 6'4", can't head. Or he can jump. Can jump, can't head. These guys have the same face, or close to it. I'm actually going to add this guy to the short list. He looks decent. Okay, enough of... Let's stay focused. Oh, we're walking through doors that aren't open again, even here. Magic. 
It's okay. Match engine changes next year. By far the most fans we've brought in all season long. Took us to get to the final to make it happen. Here we go, Acosta get a nice low cross in. He does, and he finds Giancarlo Vargas. And we are up 3-0 on aggregate inside the third minute. Beautiful. This is what I was expecting. Good ball from Flores. This is what I was expecting from Acosta all season. Lacayo wanted to tap it into. Mr. Pez Dispenser there can do nothing about it. Let's just go on to crush these guys. We easily broke the goal tally for our club. Points tally, wins tally. Ooh, Iyanku. Alexandru Iyanku's shot is blocked from the edge of the six-yard box. Ooh, the header there near post. Thought he was going to get it. Vargas leaves the ball behind him. Garcia takes a pop. Didn't really set his feet there. Just flicked it. I don't know. We've done a couple episodes with this team now. It's like three, four. They're cool. I don't know if you guys have any favorite players. From the ones that were here when I got here, it's probably honestly Garcia, the center back. But I love the ones that we brought in, the three Americans from Delphines. Ooh, off the crossbar. Mara Diaga's on loan. I do like him, though. He's proved to be a good center back option. Kyo's been hit or miss. Flores, obviously, but we brought him in as well. Vargas takes a shot, but it's not there. We should work this in the box. They're just playing way back. Uh, Giancarlo Vargas we brought in, too. Romero was here, but he wasn't very good. The goalkeeper, Sanchez, but he's picking. he's taking up an international slot I think could be better served elsewhere. So we basically built this team around players that I like. Brought them all in and then dominated. Because it was Lacayu and Reyes was the left winger. He's kind of lost his spot because Vargas has been so good. So yeah, honestly, probably Garcia, the center back. We brought in Nunez. Not that he's been great, but he's... He's won the position over the main over the guy who was here. Um Don't get complacent. Oh hey, I'm talking good about you, and then you go do that. Keep going, alright. There we go. I should have said Acosta, you're crushing it, but I mean let's just look real quick. There's Zuniga was here. I like Zuniga. Was he here? I might have brought him in, too. His team had nothing when I showed up. I mean, I am a miracle worker. That's why they gave me the Honduras job. Like, I don't know if you got... Maybe you watch this game, because I don't know why you watch my series. But tell me why you watch this series, because I would love to get more information. But the Silesia thing was a cool idea. People told me that. That's a penalty. Maybe not. Um, I don't know if I'm entertaining to watch. Hopefully, that's kind of the idea, right? So you're entertained while you're watching some football manager. Maybe you learn a thing or two. But honestly, I'm good at this game. I've played a lot. That should have been a goal from Yonku. Good save. But I I mean, I, I'm going to brag it up. What? I'm winning right now with Real Honduras up 3-0. Watch them come back as I'm sitting here bragging. But there's stuff you need to do to be successful, and there's stuff you can just flat out ignore. And it's mostly just about time management. Problem solving and time management. That's what video games are, right? Mostly. We're going to have a serious in-depth discussion while this final's going on. And what does football manager do? It sucks up a lot of time. 
So you got to try and fight for every little bit of time you can to maximize enjoyment or maximize pain like I do to, like to do to myself in this game sometimes. All right, Ramirez is coming in. Yanku's, he's played good. I just want him to get a goal. Yeah, Lakayo's always complacent. Zuniga deserves a little game time. You know what? Maybe we'll do this because Romero's bothering me. Plays Zuniga up top. And Reyes can play over here. He can, I think. He can, yeah. Vargas actually prefers it. Let's do this. There we go. Did we score a goal while I was changing things up? Nope. I mean, we're dominating this game. I'll praise him. So I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of different ways to enjoy Football Manager. This is just the way I like to enjoy it. One of the ways is playing in the Caribbean, in Central America, and random stuff like that. J-League. Maybe I'll get a J -League, some J-League time in. I'm eager to get back to... Silesia, because that was fun for me for sure. But I don't know. Let me know what kind of saves you guys like. We did it. Let's go. Let's see. The question is, how blurry does it get when the confetti comes out? Packed stadium. And we are... Any second now. Campiones. We did it. We beat Marathon. We dominated them. We're, we're just too good. We're ready for bigger challenges. We did it. Let me, let me get on Acosta's good side because he's on the national team. Excellent job. Delighted. Romero again doesn't play good. Maybe I'll sell him. I won a competition with domestic clubs or international. I can't read the whole thing. Globetrotter. It's a journeyman. I just got a Globetrotter um, Steam achievement. So we are bossing it. We win the opening stage. That's cool. So we're definitely going to the Central American Cup with these boys if we don't pick up a job elsewhere. Here's a little center back who's interested. Oh, center midfielder. Nah, he's a D mid. I don't, I'm not into it. Um, let's see. So closing stage, boom, it's drawn. So we got a whole other one of these to go through. We'll kick on through unless anything interesting happens. And yeah, we're kind of dominating stuff. I mean, we're still not like the best team in the league by any stretch. Like Olympia played so poor this season. And we'll just try and hoover up all the good players, try and win the closing stage, get some more silverware. I do want to see if my profile, if my reputation went up at all. Oh, who was playing today? Oh, there was a Costa Rica game. I just wanted to see real quick before we go. If anybody gets fired... This guy, I haven't played him much. Yeah. Yeah, deal with it. All right, so nothing popped up from the Saprisa front. They're ready for the next phase. Looks like Santos won the grand final. Is that how it works? So yeah, because they only made the semifinal and lost to Sporting. But they won the opening stage group by one point. Look how close it was, actually. Like, Saprisa did bad. They're only eight points off the top. So this is a very competitive league. And they ended up beating Herediano in the grand final. So I guess that counts as a Premier Division opening stage. Is the grand final. The final doesn't matter. The grand final is what matters. So you can make, or you can win the league and then just lose in the playoffs on purpose so you can be more well rested for the grand final I don't know Central America is weird but yeah Saprisa's struggled they could use a journeyman manager but anyways we'll kick on and I'll bring you back for when some exciting 
transfer news happens, and then we'll jump into the season. Maybe we'll play like a mid-season game. But right around the time, now it should be, we'll play through this whole season pretty much probably and then come back for the semifinals, maybe. I'm just talking about like, we'll make it no problem, but we'll catch you up when things get interesting. And then we have a World Cup to look forward to as well. So rock on, Royal Society, more silverware under the belt. Journeyman's going pretty well. Thanks for watching. Please answer some of the random questions that I had for you if you were catching up during that drubbing of Marathon in the final. I appreciate you guys liking the stuff, commenting. Helps me out. So we'll catch you next time. See you on the beach.